Day in the life, quality engineer. My first year out of college, I worked as a quality engineer at a new company, selling large assemblies. These assemblies took months to manufacture and assemble, and were made based on a multi-thousand page contract. My typical day looked like this. 7 a.m., I start my daily commute to work. By bike at this location as well. 7.30 a.m., I badge in and head up to my desk in the quality engineering department. At this point, I either already have a phone call or several emails to get me jump-started on an urgent task. Usually there is a component needing review on the floor or some customer request needing my attention. Barring some other scheduled event I need to attend, I begin working on the urgent item. Note that this immediate responding only works at the beginning of your career when you do not have tons of responsibilities. The component needing review on the shop floor has likely been documented and reported with an NCR, or non-conformance report. My job is to evaluate the non-conformance and determine a containment action, determine whether the component should be reworked, scrapped, or accepted as is, and perform a root cause investigation if the non-conformance is costly or recurring. In performing my evaluation, I will look at what the part is, what is non-conforming about the part, how the non-conformance affects the form, fit, and function of the part, the feasibility of reworking the part, the cost to rework the part versus the cost to remake the part. Based on the answers to the above questions, I determine a disposition for the part. Generally, as a new engineer, I needed to contact a variety of people to determine the feasibility of reworking the part. I would either find the people on the shop floor or email them to gain the related knowledge. If the urgent work was a customer request, I likely had a voicemail from the previous night or an email that came in asking for an update or supplier corrective action request, or some other document submission. In this case, I may spend the day completing a document or going through a series of meetings and investigations to collect the required information and respond to the customer with an estimated completion date. Working on the response to the customer often included making changes to the internal processes at the factory. Improving the processes and making them more robust would reduce the chance of recurrence, or hopefully remove that risk altogether. The latter was our favorite scenario. The most important days on this job were the ones in which the customer would come to visit and analyze our products, process, and prepared documentation. During those days, I was their guide. I would show them what they wanted to see and give them the documents they required. Usually these visits lasted a few days. Deep diving into the minutiae of our quality management system and the evidence of our compliance to the customer's requests. For both responding to internal issues and customer requests, I used several tools in the quality engineering toolbox. I plan to make videos reviewing the key tools used in business, but for now, I'll just give you the names so that you can use them. A3 root cause analysis, five whys, Ishikawa diagrams or fishbone diagrams, 80-20, and Pareto charts. 6 p.m., after a full day of using these tools, I'd bike back home.